Welcome back to Average Mike's and today we dig out our next project. Welcome back guys. I'm just another Average Mike and today we're going to kind of clean up the garage here and dig out uh, our next project truck. For those of you who haven't seen our welcome video, our first video that we ever posted. I talk about what the plans are for this truck. Uh, I will run through that again real quick. Basically, uh, I have a LT1 motor out of a 95 Camaro, uh, also a T56 transmission to mate with that. Uh, we are planning on putting a, we actually already started putting a, a LT4 hot cam kit in the motor. Uh, you will see that uh, in one of the later videos and uh, basically it's going to be a budget build. Uh, we're going to try to paint up the front frame rails here and uh, probably do a color change but that'll probably be later uh, once we get everything running everything's working. Uh, I may spray paint the uh, firewall door jams before the motor goes in obviously as you can tell everything obviously is already ripped out motor the old 2.2 motor and manual transmission uh, we had this uh, welded in for us it's a cutout for the uh, AC compressor on the LT1 uh, I have the uh, HVAC stuff uh, that we had to make a cut to make it fit we'll do another mock-up of that uh, when the motor gets back to my house and um, here's all of our brake stuff which I'm pretty sure I'm going to delete the ABS off of here uh, it, it, it's just not needed for for what we're using it for and honestly it fails constantly uh, I had a I had a 01 extreme that um, S10 extreme that it failed it failed just leave it at that early early on ABS didn't really uh, wasn't too reliable we'll give the frame wells some rust protection paint oh and then we'll have to tackle the wiring obviously uh, luckily for us I've done some mapping out on the uh, wiring color codes and, and and basically everything that all the sensors that the S10s have versus what the Camaros have with the LT1, uh, trying to match them up together. And it looks like, obviously, they're in the same era uh, year-wise, uh, same similar sensors, gauges, etc. A lot of it will, will match up uh, without doing any uh, real research as far as issues that people may have come across. This, this this project is a popular project. People put S V eights in these S tens all the time. Uh, one thing that I am going that I think is unique is when we're going with the L T one. Um, a lot of people just throw in the eighty style uh, Camaro engines, which was the uh, T B I or T P I three oh fives. That's the easiest one to put in here. We're putting the LT1 for a little bit more horsepower. We're not going with a um, super expensive crate motor, LS motor to throw in here. You know, we're trying to keep this budget build, uh, and I will go over all the numbers from when we start. So, yeah, we picked this. We picked this S10 up really cheap, um, and the motor. Like I said, we'll we'll go over those numbers uh, at a later video. So for now, what I want to do again is just we're gonna we're gonna push this thing out, uh, do a nice cleaning. This garage is a mess from all the other projects that that I've been doing. Uh, we're gonna clean everything up, put all my tools back, kind of start fresh, and we're gonna bring this car, this truck, in a little bit more to to the center of the the garage. That way, I have some room to get on the other side uh, here. So, um, yeah. So we're gonna do time lapse and let's get to work.
Hi there. This is me exploring the capabilities of my video editing software. Just wanted to give you a heads up on the couple projects that I have going on. One, C2HX. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, C2HX card playlist is pointed up there. Uh, basically, uh, I'm waiting on gel coat. Uh, the, C the Seahawk black gel coat that I originally put on that we ran out of. Uh, it sold out for a couple different places and it's kind of hard to get, but we did get it. Uh, it's on its way. That should be coming real quick. Maybe even the next episode, I'm not sure. The kitchen remodel. Kitchen remodel, we have two cabinets that were back ordered. Uh, it's been back ordered for a little while now, but we just got word that those cabinets are in and they will be getting shipped to us very soon. Once we have those cabinets in, we can continue uh, finishing the cabinet install, which then would allow us to do cabinets or countertops and uh, flooring and basically finish up that that uh, remodel. So those are the updates. Uh, until for now, just continue watching me clean this garage and Looks like I'm pretty quick at it. Maybe I should go for hire. Don't tell my wife. All right guys, so we picked up some new equipment. Uh, I got a new toolbox. It's a mechanic cart, uh, five drawer toolbox from Harbor Freight. It looks, actually got some really good reviews. It was US General uh, brand. Uh, people, people raved about it, how long, even people who had it for many years. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this together real quick. Got a crazy color and then uh, I'll be able to sort out some of the tool mess that I have going on here and hopefully get things a little more organized and, and uh, you know, help for finding tools when you need them. Guys, assembly is complete for the most part. I don't know before I throw trash away. There's supposed to be a handle here. Uh, I don't even know what it looks like. Yeah, it's just a little handle. Um, 
I'm sure it's somewhere it's probably caught up in the trash or something but uh, overall it's pretty nice if you, if, if you want it to be uh, picky I mean these walls are somewhat flimsy uh, but like I said the reviews were good the instructions were I, I mean I went through again I, I pretty much every bolt I've taken out and put in at least twice if you noticed in the uh, in the time lapse but uh, you know some of that was my fault some of that's instructions fault but uh yeah in the end you just have to pay attention to what you're doing don't tighten anything down until you know that section is complete especially up top here you have to really make sure all the bolts are in before you go around tighten them because uh this it all needs to be it's very flimsy and needs to be lined up perfectly or it'd be harder to get one side in versus the other uh, they're all oblong holes so that you can do that but uh, overall yeah it looks we're doing pretty good here I like it hopefully my uh, actually I don't know I was gonna put my uh, socket set up here but we'll see I'll get it all squared away and maybe I'll come back and and show you what it looks like Okay, so now we got everything straightened out. Let's finally start working on this truck. So what we're going to do is take the, I have a grinder first. Let's grind off, make this uh, cut out clean. We'll go ahead and do that and then we'll work on the rest of the, of the frame here. All right, then we're back. Uh, as you can tell, I grinded down pretty good. I just couldn't get back here because uh, that control arm's in the way. But what right, I started to do was start prepping for the POR 15 to put on the frame and all the suspension pieces. I am going to. The plan is to put an order in for all new steering. I know this stuff wears out pretty quick. Uh, it has been sitting around these joints probably aren't the best so uh, it's pretty cheap to get new uh, uh, steering linkages inner and outer as well as uh, some of these uh, other joints that kind of come in the kit we'll, we'll rip all this out and put new stuff in uh, i did do this side with the wire brush and it's turning out pretty good and i went through pretty quick so i'm going to go ahead and do the rest So that's both frame mails for the most part complete. Uh, I do have some stuff. Obviously, I have to clean this up a little bit to get all under there. I do plan on raising the truck up pretty high to get underneath and then also taking the wheels off and getting behind over there. So I think for right now, we're going to uh, push this back into the garage now that all the dirty stuff is done as much as I can do and uh, get this up on jack stands and probably call it for today's video all right guys we have the Sonoma back in the garage it is all jacked up in the air ready to get worked on as you can see uh, you get a little better view of what was completed today the next video on the Sonoma is going to be possibly removing the steering components because I'm really considering about this close to pulling the trigger on all new steering bushings and ball joints and all that hoopla and uh, pulling some of this other stuff off to get to get into the nooks and crevices of all this uh, framework that way I can finish uh, pulling getting all the rust off or getting it down as best I can and uh, and then we can go do our poor POR 15. I think I, yeah. For those who don't know what POR 15 is, it's just a rust inhibitor uh, paint that we can put on the frame and make it look good, prevent it from rusting further on. Uh, but yeah, 
Uh, until then, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Later.